Hi gamers, it's Kristen and I have my third installment of my Game, Change, Game Changer series for you. These are my lip favorites. So I think that I'm going to do maybe tools and skincare in one video. I'm not really sure. I do feel like I have a good amount of skincare things that I liked this year. So um, these are these three are kind of back to back. There might be a day in between the last one and this one, but the tools and skincare that's going to take just a little bit more for me to put together. So look for those. Look for that one here in the next week or so. I would imagine. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump into what I have here. So these are not in any particular order at all. We're, we're just going to jump. They're just laid before me. So this is something that I purchased in a kit in August when I was at IMATS up in Toronto. And I didn't like anything else from the kit really but this, but I really did like this. So this is by Eve Pearl and it doesn't, oh, it just says liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Plum Naked. I'm going to push my sleeve up here so that I don't get my sleeve in a bunch of lip products but it's just it has the funniest scent to it I don't love the scent but I love the shade I love how it wears I love that it keeps that sort of glossy finish it's not a transfer resistant or anything resistant or anything like that it's just a really pretty opaque shade that I don't find drying at all very moisturizing so I really really liked that one a lot I think I am going to save my favorites to the end though I do have so so that's the only part of the order it will be in all right this was a gift from my friend jamie from her late night cravings for my birthday back in february and i love this so much and this is by i don't know why i haven't purchased more probably because i don't need any more lip products but <laughs> i just love the ease of this and the color and the wear it's the jumbo longwear lip crayon and rose violine so it just twists up like that so you don't have to sharpen it just such a pretty great everyday color and it lasts a really long time so that's that's that i mean there, there's definitely a theme with some of my <laughs> lip colors um but i just i love that and I, I would really purchase more of these i'm just i am really believe it or not i am trying to be better and use up some things that i have i just went through and tossed a bunch of lip products so <laughs> i really need to be better about some things all right so i have some beauty junkie products that i want to show you as well the two mattes that I really fell in love with this year are the two things are mattes. And I think they're just matte lipstick, liquid lipstick from Beauty Junkies. And this is the shade in Soul Mate. And they do the same thing as most liquid lipsticks. They will dry down a little bit darker than they apply. And this is the one in Amaretto. I remember putting this on on a live and being like, oh yeah, <laughs> I totally fell in love with it. So that's Soul Mate and that's Amaretto. Just pretty 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 they are liquid lipsticks i don't find them to be super long wearing by any means um and they don't claim to be like hours and hours long wearing but i just i love them i love them a lot they do wear nicely mostly i will top them though with a gloss so i have three of their little minis they sell them their their glosses in sets of three i just picked a couple of them to show you some of the shades my favorite is this one i think it was in mint i lost the little sticker but it's mint pink satin and so i would take that soul mat soulmate and put mink pink satin over the top i'm just going to put a little bit of it here but it's a really comfortable gloss and you know sometimes when you put a gloss over something it'll like it'll shorten the longevity and I don't feel that these glosses do that and they have a lovely mint scent. I'll give you a quick um, shot of these other ones. This is a dropping things on the ground. This one you won't really be able to see because it's just a topper and it has just a little bit of sheen and a little bit of sort of glitter without being glitter and it's jewel, mint jewel. It's right there. And then the other one that I picked is more of a pinky one and this is in candy mint. And that you can see is a little more pink right there to it so pretty i really like i said i've really really enjoyed um, a lot of the lip products from the beauty junkies line all right next up that i have before me was the it was called trophy wife which i don't love the name of somebody else had mentioned that too but it was the trophy wife kit from huda and so there are three products in here and they all together they are they are all together necessary to make the delightfulness that is this lip so the lip liner is in Trophy Wife right there. And I'm telling you what, for me or for anybody my age or older that has any sort of lip issue at all, you cannot wear these without a liner. You just can't. Now my friend Kristen, 3 to one also said, she said even with the liner she was having issues, but she used kind of an eyeshadow primer and she said that really helped. So this is the liquid lipstick. It's so gorgeous. Also in Trophy Wife, so pretty. 
but the star of this show and I think you can buy this by itself I'll, if I can find the kit I'll link it and if I can find the if I can't find I'll find the individual items and link them but this is in shameless and it's a lip it's called a lip strobe again when I put this on in my live I was like whoa wait now what you won't you can't I don't think you can tell how pretty it is on its own there but ah uh, when you put it over that is this dry enough for me to put it over no it's not dry enough but it's it's so pretty it's so very pretty just absolutely stunning so those that that kit was a big one and that actually prompted me to buy another kit from her it was I think a lip contour and I can't remember which I think it was in trendsetter and I do like that one but not enough to have made my favorites I bought it at the very end of the year okay next up is a lip kit a lip <laughs> The next up is a lipstick, and this is uh, the NYX Pinup Palette Line. My friend Alicia is the one that suggested this for me. She actually took me over there when I was visiting her, and she said, you need to buy this. And I did, and I've worn it a ton. And it's in this shade Corset. It's just such a pretty, cool pink. And I just don't have a ton of shades that are like this, especially with that coolness. It's so pretty. Again, it's not the longest wearing lipstick you're ever going to wear, but um, but it is lovely. I was just grabbing a, a wipe to, to take to remove that. It's lovely. It's creamy. It feels good on the lips. You know, you just so you reapply it. It's fine. You know, things don't have to last hours and hours and hours. All right. So you guys heard me talk about these a bunch. My love for this product started out with this with the with this one that I bought, and this was the Burberry Lip Velvet. This is in Fawn Rose. And then I ended up buying the kit, which I've talked about quite a bit. I'm going to show you this Fawn Rose shade on its own. I love this formula. Again, it's not transfer proof by any means, but it's very long wearing, very comfortable for a matte. Absolutely stunning. So that's the one in Fawn Rose. And then I bought the kit of four of them at Christmas time, and there's Fawn Rose in that. And I sent that off to a sent it off to a friend who also really enjoyed it. And my favorite shade out of that kit was by far Oxblood. And you guys saw me wear this one a lot. I'm trying to get a good swatch of it here for you, but apparently not capable of doing that. So that is Oxblood. Just stunning. It's so pretty. And I don't find that it's hard to deal with throughout the day. You know, sometimes those darker colors can be tricky to deal with. I don't find that it's tricky to deal with. Um, I can reapply it easily. I just, it's very, very, very pretty. All right, I think this started, <laughs> these, the three of these started, I want to say, just with this one. So these are the Smashbox, what are they actually called? Liquid Metal or something like that. Yeah, Liquid Metals. And the first one, I this one is in Peach Metal. I remember wearing this by itself um, to a Brewer game, because I, I can see the picture in my head that I posted um, with Bob. If I can find it, I'll stick it in here and it was on Instagram, I think. And I wore it by itself, which I like, but I, I prefer it more as like a topper over other things or a darker lip liner like Milani Brandy with this just a little bit over the top, but so pretty. So then that led me into this one and I have made other people buy this. It is, this is just stunning. I mean, at Christmas time, I actually loaned it to my friend Krista, so I didn't get to wear it at Christmas time, but this is um, Crimson Chrome. I mean, it's so pretty. <sighs> really, really, really pretty. And then the last shade that I purchased was in Mauve Squad. And I do like this one. I feel like, again, it's better over something rather than just by itself. And I stand by my comment that I've said a million times now. Metallic is just 80s frost brought back from the dead. But it's, it's really, really pretty. I just, I've really enjoyed any of these sort of metallic things putting a liner on, like filling my lips completely in with some color liner and then playing with one of these over the top and seeing what it does. It's just a lot of fun for me. You can see, by the way, that it's, these are really hard to get off. Those Smashbox ones, they have a lot more cling than any of the other metallics that I've ever used, quite frankly. So lastly are going to be two, my two discoveries from Jouer. So I know people have talked about the one to death and I, I got on the train late, but it's definitely my most used lip product of 2017 and that would be the lip topper in skinny dip and what i'm wearing today is this which is the long wear something something or it just says lip cream but it is long wear in petal de rose with this over the top of it just absolutely gorgeous 
I really want to get more, but again, I'm trying to like hold myself out. And I have to tell you, I also I almost included some of the. There were a couple color pop shades that I like, but um, I just don't love that formula as much as I love some other ones. So anyway. Again, this is what I have on my lips, but you can see them separately. This Skinny Dip is something you can put over anything and it will make it look delightful. If you put a matte on your lips and you're like, oof, it's making my lips look really old or something like that, you throw Skinny Dip over the top of it and it all of a sudden looks delightful. So that's Petal de Rose and then that is Skinny Dip. And it's not, it's, it's opaque. You can build it up. You can put just a little bit on there. It's just, it's very versatile. It's not quite, like when you when you use the Smashbox Petal Metal, when you go on with it, it is opaque, which is nice because you want it to be opaque, but you can't play with it as much because it's just like in your face. With You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? <laughs> All right, so that is it for my lip favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And um, if you had a lip favorite that I didn't talk about, I would love to know below. Um, let me know what stuck out for you in 2017 as your favorite lip product. On the rest of my face today, I have the Love Struck Blush, same base as I've been wearing through my favorites. I have the Love Struck Blush in um, Sweet Tea Pink, Sweet something, Sweet Pea Pink. I can never remember that. On my As my eyelid color, I have the L'Oreal Infallible and Amber Rush. And then the rest of my shades, I have the Just, or shades from the Just Peachy Matte Palette. And then the lashes that I'm wearing today are the Esquito Lash Name Desire. And I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and that you're enjoying my Game Changer series. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.